Trying to adjust back to normal life after Ghana has been so hard. I have been so sick. I think I like ended up eating something that really I took my hair out finally and I think I'm gonna go get a silk press. But I don't know anyone in Chicago that does a good silk press. Get my life and get my body together because I've been asleep. So I'm gonna get my life and my body and everything together as I recover from this sickness. I kind of sort of got my life together. I got in the shower. It's just crazy what a shower can do. I still feel really sick, but I feel like I can move through the sickness. I'm about to go return some clothes, mail off. So I got my, I'll see if I can show you guys. They're in the car, but I got my coworkers these little like bracelets from Ghana. I don't know, I'm trying to be in the corporate culture, I guess. I don't know. So, oh, listen, being in corporate America is really hard for me because part of me doesn't care at all. Like, I don't care. But then part of me, like, kind of wants to care. But anyway, so I'm going to go get my nails removed. So I got these nails done in Ghana, which has been, like, two or three weeks now. And they are, like, stuck on. And so I just want them off because I want to be able to function and, like, live my life. These are the little bracelets that I got for my coworkers. Let's see if you can see them. This one says Amy. And, um, yeah. So I got them these little bracelets. And I'm going to ship them to their house. And then I'm going to go get my nails removed. Ooh, my hands are ashy. I'm going to get my nails removed and then return to Amazon. And then, um, take my butt back in the house because it's cold. So, um, I'll see y'all at the nail salon. Happy Saturday, everyone. So, I did get my nails done yesterday. I got them like this purple color. I'll, I'll show y'all, but... I just got back from Target and today I am going to try to give myself a soap press because this year I really want to try to just do a lot of things on my own. The first step is to do my own hair. I'm trying to cook a bit more and yes. So those are some things that I really want to do this year. So let me show y'all what I got from Target. Target, I went and got this like Revlon is it okay so I went and got this like Revlon hair dryer straightener thing I know that when I go to get silk presses they use one of those like um round brushes like this to kind of blow dry your hair and I think that's really fundamental in getting your hair straight this is place called I'm gonna figure out what the place is called um but this is camera shop downtown on Wabash. Oh, I want to go see if I can find me a camcorder. Camcorder? 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 Like, is that the name? Uh, you know one of the, the cameras where it, like, flips out? Camcorder. Like, I don't know why the name just doesn't sound like it's clicking with me, but I'm going to go see if I can find a camcorder or even just, like, a handheld, like, camera, and I'm going to see what they're charging for it. Um, if I can't find one in at the camera shop, then I'm going to probably try to see if I can find one on eBay, um, as well as a film camera too, because I have a lot of film that I got for Christmas. So I'm going to walk Ellie and then I'm going to come back. The, the sun is shining. Look at this. <laughs> the sun is shining this morning, but, uh, I'm going to go walk Ellie and then we are going to do my hair, which will also be a separate video. And yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Come. Come here. Good morning, boo. Good 
Good morning. How are you? How are you doing this morning? I got like this cute purple color. I don't even know if it's showing as purple or blue, but like I got this cute purple color because you know, it's not spring yet, but we are hoping for spring soon. Yeah, my nails. When I was in Target today, I was just thinking like, there's just something about Target, like. My dad, he's like, what you doing? I was like, on my way to Target. He said, that's all you do. And I'm like, that is all I do. Okay, so. This is my finished hair. Like, I tried to curl it a bit, and it actually looks pretty good. My ends really need to be clipped, but this is my hair straight. It's gotten so long. Look at it. It's gotten so long. I did not get to go to the camera store today. I'm actually going to see what time it closed. Maybe I can go, but I do I do not like driving at the, at the night. At the night, I don't like driving in the dark. Just because I have really bad astigmatism and it's really hard for me to see. But let's see what time the camera store actually closes. Oh, they closed! Wow, they were only open from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. So I guess I have to go Monday, but um, I finished my hair. And now the sun has like set. <laughs> and so now I'm trying to film my videos. So I'll see y'all tomorrow when I finish up this vlog. But it, it took me all day to do, to do my hair. And look at this, can you see? My ends need to be trimmed. But yeah, all right, see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. So today is definitely one of those days that I'm just tired and running late. But um, I put on some makeup, I did my hair. I'm about to go to church, but today I'm just gonna have like a Sunday reset day because my place is a mess. I need to prep for work and it's just Sunday so I I think I look cute I look nice and cute for church I look like I'm going to church especially with these little bangs I did not make it to church so I needed to go get me some food before going to church like so I was like let me stop by Starbucks and I got me a little sandwich and then my friend that I was going with I asked her to save us seats and then they were like no no saving seats so when I got to church they were like you can only sit in the overflow and the overflow is at the bottom of it's like the basement of the church and you just sit there and watch tv on the screen it's like no I can do that at home so I left I went and got some groceries today I'm going to try to make some Cuban food I really want some like Cuban rice and chicken with some tostones which is just like plantain like smash plantains will i record that maybe i am new to cooking like i be cooking but like i cook to survive <laughs> like i don't cook extravagant meals but it's something i want to try out this year so maybe i'll show y'all i'll show y'all what i got and then um i have to clean my kitchen and then i'm gonna start cooking and watching tv church was a no-go but we're gonna cook and we're going to see how that goes I got my chicken boiling and this is to make like homemade chicken broth and then I'm gonna end up like cooking this chicken and then I have my washed rice and then we're gonna come back once probably once the food is over just because I'm not a cook Tuesday so this week has been a slow week even though it's only Tuesday it just feels like a Monday and maybe because everybody had off yesterday I'm gonna use today as my Monday to kind of reset and get everything done you see my hair this silk press lasted for all of silk press lasted for all of two seconds like it's literally not even straight anymore so I'm trying to figure out what I should do next with my hair. I just don't know. Like I, This year, I really don't want to wear wigs. 
and then I don't want to pay like $200 to get my hair braided. Today is a really chill day in the house. I actually think most of this vlog is in the house. <laughs> And that's totally fine. I think January for everyone is pretty slow anyway. All right. Hey, everyone. So today I feel so sick. I don't know what has been going on. Like maybe it's just, I don't know, weather stuff, but I feel sick. I go back and forth between feeling like I shouldn't rant about my job because I have a job and it's a recession. And like, you know, there's people struggling to find a job, but I just, today's just one of those days where I'm like, I'm thankful to have the job, but I just don't like it. Like it doesn't fuel me. It's not my passion versus like when I film or do YouTube, I'm not, I'm not necessarily like, oh my gosh, I'm ready to film today, but like doing it just seems so effortlessly to me like it seems effortless like i can't explain it um not that i want to do content creation as a career like that would be nice but it's not necessarily my goal i don't know maybe it's just one of those thursdays it's 11 oh i have a meeting so we're gonna finish this talk after my meeting hi everyone happy friday uh, so I don't have anything planned today. I'm finally going to go to the camera shop for real today. And then I'm gonna come back and really just chill. So, I mean, every I feel like every time I pick up the camera, <laughs> there's something going on outside. But I just wanted to come say happy Friday. So my silk press didn't last. So I put it in like this little bun. I don't know if you can see. Is it gonna show? So I put it in this little bun and yeah i think i'm going to like do a braid out or something it, it it didn't last but i'm finally gonna go to the camera shop and see what i can find hopefully they aren't charging a lot but we're gonna we're gonna go together I'm back from the camera store and I don't have a camera, but they were like really helpful and gave me like a list of places where I could probably find some cameras. Um, so I'm gonna go, mm, I may check out like one or two of these thrift stores. It's just that everything's up north. That's like my only issue is that everything's so far up north. And then, oh wait, there's a train. I don't know what it is with me and being up north. I think it's because there's no parking. I mean, I guess there's just no parking in Chicago, period. But I'm going to go check out two of these thrift stores, or maybe all three, depending on how close they are to each other. And then I'm going to go to the bookstore to get my book for the month. And then, <laughs> then I'm going to go home because I'm going to get hungry and I don't want to buy some food, but I know I want to buy me some tacos. So their price points for point and shoot cameras were like three, two sixty, three hundred dollars $300. And I definitely didn't expect to spend that much. I thought I was going to spend like at least like a hundred dollars on a point and shoot, but obviously I didn't know. And she was saying that like their price points are so high because they make sure that the cameras work and like they make sure that it works versus like if you go to the thrift store, like you'll have to take it somewhere to see if it'll, you know, work. Good morning. So yesterday, I did not find a camera like you guys saw a little bit I didn't find a camera I didn't know they were like $300 for a point and shoot so I'm actually gonna go on Facebook marketplace and try to find one and then try like eBay and Craigslist but that was a fail 
And then I ended up just going to my favorite taco spot because I felt like I was driving all, oh no, before that, I went to Village Thrift to go see if I could find a camera because she's, um, the lady at the camera store suggested to go to like some of the thrift stores and I did end up finding a camera and I tried Googling it and like I, I just didn't see any great reviews about it. It also didn't have a lens and I didn't know how well it worked. So I just wasn't really willing to take that risk. And I'm also like at the point where like I rather just pay the money like than to like buy this camera body and like really invest in it. So so I didn't get that camera. Also Village Thrift was like the thrift store that I typically go to, I thought that that was like an overwhelming thrift store, but Village Thrift was like overwhelming. Like there was so much stuff. Like that's a thrift store you have to spend a day and actually go thrifting. And then I ended up going to my favorite taco spot, which is Taco Tlan. Taco Tlan. I never know how to say it, but it's like so far from my house. It's like 35 minutes away, but it's so good. I haven't had it in months, so. I got me some quesadilla tacos and those were great. And then I just came home because I just felt like I've been driving all over the city and I just needed a break. But today is Saturday and I'm doing the Saturday things, you know. I am laying in the bed. I am waking up late. <laughs> but most importantly, um... I have a flower class tonight. So I found this flower class on Instagram and I've really been wanting to get into like floral design. So um, I found this class and I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I'm excited but nervous. Like I'm really trying to do things alone. And like I have been doing things alone but like typically I'll like invite like friends and like they either can't make it. But this is something that I really wanted to do by myself. It's up north at this studio and I can't pronounce the name of it, but I'll like put it here and I'll put their Instagram here too. So we're gonna chill out for the rest of this day and then I will see y'all at the flower class later. Okay, so I'm all ready for my class. Um, the wig was not working out, so I have on the wig braids. But yep, yeah, I'm about to walk Ellie and then yeah, we're gonna go to the flower class. I'm so excited. I'm probably gonna vlog on my phone because it's late and I need to get a vlogging camera. So I think that's what I'm gonna do next time. And like, I need to get a vlogging camera. So that's what I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna work on getting a vlogging camera just so I don't have to take my big camera out. But yes, let's go to the class. I'm excited. Today, I'm going to show y'all how to arrange and so happy. It's over now, you're gone. Yeah. I want us to go around in a circle if you're comfortable. And Someday, your DNA obey. I am back from the flower class. I'm actually pretty tired, but look at my flowers. You see them there. I took a couple pictures too, but the class was so much fun. Like, I can't wait for the next one. Um, yeah. What else can I say? I think everyone was super sweet. Most people that came were solo, so that made me feel really good. Um, what else? <sighs> Flower making is like more difficult than I thought, or maybe I just put too much, like, maybe I was overthinking, because, like, I wanted it to be perfect, instead of, like, 
just creating something that I love. And then once I did, once I like was like, okay, I want to create something that I love is once it like came out really good. So, um, I look tired, but I am going to go to sleep and that is all for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for staying if you've stayed this long and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace. Really quick before we go, here is a another look at my bouquet. These are all real flowers, like so crazy to me. It's so beautiful, but yeah, that is it. I will see you guys soon. Peace. Everything that I had hoped to be is over now.